Are you interested in in getting to and talking a little bit about about um? How about let's go right to the thing that re- people really want to <laughs> like that people really want to see, and that's you look at look at it how how a game that's supposedly all about mythology depicts Buddhists. So mm. we saw Kanze on Kozeon was from Persona, which is a spinoff of the Shin Megami Tensei or Megami Tensei series. Um, I had everything together, but it was my computer was freezing, was blowing, so I kind of changed it. So, have you are you familiar with what the Preta is, the hungry ghost? Yeah, the Preta is a, a figure sort of in the, this picture of the Buddhist wheel of life, the various realms that you can be born into, or the orders of life that you can be reborn into. Uh, they include things like gods and residents of, of hell realms or animals, or in this case, pretas, which are hungry ghosts that are supposed to have big stomachs and tiny, tiny little throats. So they're just constantly craving, constantly trying to get food into them. So these are two depictions from Shin Megami Tensei and then yeah. the Devil Summer, which is the, the common version at the moment. Any one either more favorable? Oh, I like that that first preta. Yeah, this one or I mean, this I, one? I'd go with I'd go with the the preta. The, this one? Yeah, the first one because he's he looks kind of um, you know I mean I think he captures something of the the emotional situation of the person. But you know, so they're just sort of miserable and uh, you know constantly dissatisfied, maybe a little angry about it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, I think the the way the Preta, from what I've seen, have been have been depicted more is like now he's ruffians. Yeah, there's a little happiness on his face. He just wants to eat everything. <laughs> right. Mm. Well, it's interesting because uh, you know in a lot of Asian cultures they put out little offerings that are s- sort of for creatures like this, and with the idea that you know you give them a little something and that'll make give them some happiness and it'll also keep them from harassing you. All right. Are you familiar with um, Hariti? Hariti is, uh, yeah, that's, this is sort of a, a, is a, a female figure. I'm looking, I'm trying, I'm, I'm looking for this right now. <laughs> I guess, I'm I guess, thinking I of the traditional name there. Um, I'm familiar with this figure. Hariti, yeah. Is this a, figure? Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know too much about the iconography, if there's a particular, but she's particularly associated with children. Yes. Uh, often, you know, in some Buddhist and some Hindu stories, uh, somebody who has, you know, either sort of kidnapped a bunch of children or, uh, you know, basically has some bad history with children and then sort of reforms herself and so becomes a kind of goddess of, of that's of benefit to children. I think I think we have the more earlier, like, the evil part of her in uh-huh. the earlier versions yeah, and yeah. then the, com- in the modern version we have, we have her with the more caring aspect of her. Mm-hmm. You should say both of these are accurate. Uh, do they, do I, I don't know so much accurate because I'm not familiar with her iconography so much. But uh, this looks. Yeah. It, feel, it, fit, it fits. It fits. Yeah. What's she carrying there? I don't know what I mean, she's carrying. I would carrying. expect her to be looks carrying like a child. Looks but like it's that maybe looks a, like a, a I don't know, a bundle of something. 